What's up adventurers? In this video we are going to be covering all of the gear we bring on our travels. We're constantly wanting to improve our videos which means we like to invest in new gear. This is not just our hobby but this is also our career. So this is everything that we use when we travel the world and make the content that you see on this YouTube channel and we're going to talk about each and every one of them so I guess we can just get right into it. All of the items we're talking about in this video, we've left links to those in the video description as well as in the blog post that goes with this video. I'm sure the blog post link is sliding along the video at the top somewhere, so you can go and click on that. This camera here is the RX100 Mark V. So this camera is our secondary camera. The one we're using to film this video is our primary. This one is mostly used for vlog style, so because. It has a flip screen, which is awesome. It's super small, so it's easy to just put in a pocket or a bag. It's light too, so it doesn't get in the way. And these little fancy things are its eyebrows. When we're filming in windy conditions, you don't hear that rustling that it creates. It is 4K. It takes great photos, great video. It's got super slow-mo, like super slow-mo. And for those of you wanting to create videos or take awesome video or photos of your travel, this camera, I can't recommend it enough. We're gonna quickly swap the camera we're using right now with this camera so that I can explain about that camera. You can probably see the difference in quality between this camera and the one that we use. I mean, they're very close because the RX100 that's filming right now is super high quality. The price tag on this, the A7S Mark II, and the camera that we're using is a pretty big difference. If you wanna spend about a thousand bucks, go with the RX100, super high quality, great camera. We use it all the time. If you really wanna step up your game, you want interchangeable lenses, you want more buttons, more things to fiddle with, you wanna attach like mics to this, you need to get a mirrorless camera or a DSLR. That's why we chose the A7S Mark II. We love this camera. This little orange disc is Skyroam Solace. And we have been using Skyroam for the last couple of years for all of our international travels. And it is a portable Wi-Fi device. It has unlimited data. And you only have to pay for each day that you use. So it starts at $8 a day. You can connect five devices. So you and your friends can use it at the same time. Super fast. You can use it in over 100 countries. This thing has saved us, I don't even know how many times. It's great for like long train rides and you wanna get work done, upload videos, stay connected. This thing really comes in handy. If you're interested in this device for your next trip, we've left our affiliate link to this device in the video description. So if you purchase it, you can also help us out. We get a little kickback from it. GoPros, this is the GoPro Hero 5. We've used this in a lot of countries. We do not travel without a GoPro because they're just so handy in so many different situations. And we also have the GoPro Hero 6 that just got released. And this does 4K in 60 frames per second. And in 1080, it does 240 frames per second. So that means you can slow something down like four times, eight times, and you're still gonna get high quality. Lenses. We've become a little obsessed with lenses over the last year. We were only filming with this one lens that is filming right now for like up until this year. We didn't have any other lenses, but we purchased these two ones this year and I'm so glad because I'm obsessed with them. They look so good. So the one that's filming right now is a 24 to 70 millimeter at an F4. This one here is the 16 to 35, another F4. And this is a fixed 85 at 1.8 f-stop. This is the GoPro Karma Grip. So this is basically a three axis gimbal for your GoPro. So if you don't want to spend the money on like a DJI Osmo, you can get the Karma Grip if you already have the GoPro. But you have to buy these two separate. They're two separate pieces. I know some people don't like that, but at least with the, the Hero 6, if we can get like 4K 60 frames or like super slow-mo on this with like stabilization, it's gonna make for some like really smooth, crispy footage. This here is called an Osmo and it is like my new best friend. I am obsessed with this camera. I try to use it as often as possible because it's so much fun and it's really easy to use. Let's put your phone here, you download the app and it allows you to see what you're filming um, because it does not have a viewfinder, but your, your phone acts as a viewfinder. And it has a three axis gimbal. The camera is part of this whole rig. This is how you buy it. And it's super easy to use and creates those really beautiful glide shots. This is the DJI Phantom 4. 
So we bought this a couple of years ago and we've taken it everywhere. We've flown over icebergs with it. We've flown in the desert over mountains and jungles. We also have a polarized filter on the lens. So you can just like unscrew that lens that comes factory and put a polarized filter. And that way when, you know, it's like really sunny out that it dims that light and gets you like really nice high contrast images. I really do want the Mavic because it's so much smaller and we're now minimalists living in 200 square feet. So every foot matters, every inch matters. But I mean, this is just such a solid product. I'm almost like trying to crash it so I have an excuse to get the Mavic. But I mean, no luck. Hard drives, necessary, especially when you create a lot of content. We have probably between seven to 10 hard drives. These ones here are one terabyte each and you'd be surprised how fast we go through them. Uh, we probably go through like two or three of these a year because we always back up our footage and our photos, um, which is really important to us, right? External microphones. These are essential when you're traveling because the microphones that are on the camera are kind of like omni mics. They're kind of pick up kind of everything. If there's like a kid playing in a field there, there's a train there, there's someone yelling there, it's gonna hear all that. This is a directional mic. So whatever it's pointed at is what it's going to pick up. We also have a lapel mic, which is what we're using right now to film this video. So this is wireless, like there's another one of these on the camera and this is picking up the signal wirelessly. I can be really far away from the camera and my audio won't change. Whereas if I was using the mics that are on the camera, the closer I got, the louder I'm gonna get. Whereas this is going to be clean audio no matter how far or close I get. Battery chargers. You gotta charge up cameras. So we got lots of chargers and we use um, rechargeable uh, AA batteries, which we use for our mics or anything else that we need. And batteries. We have three of these batteries for our A7S Mark II and because we go through them very fast. We never travel without battery chargers. So when we're out on the go and we have to charge our phones, charge a camera, charge anything, we have battery chargers. And these, this one is a 6,000 milliamp charge. And this is actually solar, which is pretty damn cool. This one is a 3.4 amp. So this can charge an iPhone, let's say like four times, which is pretty good. You need to have these and there's USB. Make sure they have USB plugs in them. This here is an international adapter. Every traveler must have one of these. This converts power, right? So when you're in different countries, there's different outlets and this has every single one of them in this one little device. So you can charge all your equipment. These are Peak Design products and Peak Design is a super cool company that basically makes clips for cameras and lenses. This, for example, you can clip a lens into it and you can actually clip, clip a lens onto the other side. So you can have double lens and then this you can put onto your belt and then it would just clip right in like a little holster. So that way, if you need a lens, press this button, you can take out a lens, put it back. You don't have to open up any bags. This actually connects to your camera as well. So the little like screw in the bottom of your camera where your tripod would attach, you put a little mount and then it just clips right in. So you can have your camera like a holster on your belt. SD cards. And this is a very handy SD card holder. SD cards are very breakable. I've broken quite a few, unfortunately. In here are a bunch of SD cards. We have quite a bit because we take a lot of video and a lot of photos. And this case is awesome. It's a hard case um, to protect your SD cards because if you don't have one of these, it's very easy to lose an SD card or break an SD card. Good audio. Good audio is very important. Otherwise, I sound way too far away or I sound way too close. You need to have good audio. This is the H4N Zoom Recorder. So it has XLR inputs and quarter inch inputs. So you can like plug in a mic anywhere you go. And this is basically like a recording studio in your hand. ND and polarizing filters, kind of like sunglasses for your camera. These filters we put onto our camera lenses during bright days. The polarizing filter gets rid of any glare that's on like a lake or a rock or in the sky. And then an ND filter reduces the amount of light that hits the camera sensor. This here is a lens protector, which I would highly recommend, especially if you have expensive lenses, because if you happen to drop one, 
This will break before your actual lens breaks and will save you a lot of money in the long run. This is a suction mount, so this is a great product if you want to like stick it on a windshield, if you want to stick it on a window and get like cool angles in your footage, you need to get a suction mount. We don't always bring a tripod with us when we are traveling because it can be bulky, but we do always travel with this Gorilla Pod. It's like a smaller tripod, but it has the ability to flex and bend and twist, and you can actually wrap it around things like a tree branch, for example. Lighting is so important when you're doing video or photography, and this little light has been with us on so many adventures. I went to the catacombs with this light, and it's pitch black down there you would not be able to see unless you had lighting. This clips right into the top hot shoe mount of your camera where like a microphone would go and it just stays right there. So no matter where you aim the camera, you have a light. This fun little toy is brand new. We actually haven't even used it yet, but I'm super excited to. It is a dome and you probably have seen it in action. It allows you to take those really cool shots of like a hot girl in water and half of her body is above the water and the other half of her body is in the water and you can see like fish swimming around. Well, this is the dome that creates those photos. You put your GoPro in here and you submerge half the dome in the water, the other half is above the water, and then you take the picture or video if you want, and it creates that look. 